Hi, um, so my name is Shandy and I am just gonna share my birth story with you. A lot of people have asked um, specifics because just to give you a bit about me, um, I'm 42 years old. I have three little boys that are four, two, and eight months old. And for the most part, I've had relatively um, easy ways of getting pregnant, pretty easy pregnancies, um, happy pregnancies, really no complications, um, and also pretty easy births. Um, so much so as I would say, the first one was pretty easy but challenging. The second one was um, actually what you would call an orgasmic birth, and it's something you can actually Google. It's li literally a thing. Um, and then my third one, who was born on May 5th in 2020, um, that was actually what you kind of call a supernatural birth. Um, the whole thing was an hour and 14 minutes from start to finish. Um, and that's what I'm gonna share today, is just what that birth was like. And if you guys wanna see the other births, I will also post videos on that. But, and then I'll just give you kind of some tips of why I think that it was kind of an easy birth. So first of all, how it happened. Um, you know, I wasn't able to be as active as I was in the previous births, or pre previous pregnancies because of COVID. And I wasn't able to do some of my um, pregnancy workout classes and things like that. So living in Los Angeles, especially, um, I was able to walk around the neighborhood, but I stayed as active as I could. And having two other little toddlers to run around, it's pretty easy to stay active. Um, I also didn't really eat as clean as I normally do because of COVID and you had to just order food for delivery. Uh, so it was whatever was in stock. Um, but I did make sure, and I will talk about this later, I did make sure I always got my greens mixed in and I'll post the stuff at the bottom too if you guys are interested. But basically just something that I knew that I was getting healthy stuff in me every day. Stuff that um, just helped everything run smoothly inside of my body. Um, but anyway, so the way that the birth happened, um, it was 5.50 in the, in the evening and I was with my boys in the playroom while my husband was making dinner and he called us into dinner. And I walked into the room and I felt my waters break. And that hadn't happened with my other two boys. Um, my first one was a very, very slow leak. And with my second one, it didn't break until he was coming out. Uh, I was in the water and I pushed and it broke and then he came out with it. Um, so it was a new feeling. I was like, oh, my waters broke. But we still sat down and we had dinner. Um, and the plan was to feed everyone uh, and then get the boys in their pajamas and put them to bed. And I had asked them before, if you're sleeping when your brother Charlie is born, do you want me to wake you? And they were like, no, we'll see him in the morning. Um, Cause my first son was present at the second one's birth. So I thought that the two of them together should maybe be present. And oftentimes it helps the transition into a family if they can watch the process. So um, I thought that was gonna happen. I was gonna put him to bed to try to speed the story up cause it can get long and full of details. Um, it, it wasn't gonna happen. Yeah, uh, at 602, I had my first big contraction and my husband had finished eating and he was cleaning up and I told him to fill up the water because we were gonna have a water birth of the, in the pool that was in the living room set up. And uh, he was like, are you serious? And I was like, well, how long does it take to set up? And he said about an hour and I was like, then yes, like get to it. And so he started doing that. Um, contractions were really strong, but I was trying to busy myself with the boys. So we were, they'd finished eating and we were coloring at the table and in between coloring, I'm like rocking and kind of breathing and um, try to just speed the story up because there's birth stories are so fun. You could talk forever. Um, my husband brought me my yoga ball because he said I was rocking so much he thought I was gonna break the chair. So I was on the yoga ball rolling and my I, my younger son at the time came over and like grabbed my hand and held my hand for me. and. My older son, having already been through a birth, and he was only three at the time, was telling me, breathe it down, mommy, breathe it down, breathe the baby down. I was like, you're a great doula. Um, so anyway, I ended up uh, getting into the waters. I was listening to kind of my affirmations uh, on my headset, and my doula showed up, and then my midwife showed up, like right before I pushed him out, pretty much. She showed up, and... Um, I was always of the mindset, um, and I've done so much reading and everything on, on births. I think I've read every book imaginable on natural home births. Um, but I uh, was always told, like, when you get to that point, to lean into it um, and see what that feels like. So at this point, what leaning into it means is go ahead and give a little push and see what happens. And so I gave a push as my midwife was there. 
and and it felt right it felt good and but it was me pushing so she goes and she had literally just gotten there she said um, was that you pushing or your body pushing and I was like oh that that was me but I now opened the floodgates because I pushed a little bit and baby was like yes I'm ready um, and so the next push he was coming and I mean she barely we actually have the camera of, of on our front of our house where you see her show up and come inside and then I think two minutes later he was born so she was barely there in time um, but I reached down and I felt his head and by now my husband was standing with the boys outside uh, at a little water table playing and they were like Ben get in here like the head's coming and he was like what and came around the corner and they were like okay on your next you know contraction reach down and pull your baby out and so I felt that contraction I reached down and I pulled him out and I left him in the water just for a minute because I wanted to see like that slow waking up to this world and he opened his eyes and and then I pulled him up and put him on my chest and um, the boys were there by the side, the two older brothers, Finn and Bodie, and they were like waving at him. And in the video, it's really sweet because you can hear my husband. He's just in disbelief because we literally just had dinner and then I just pushed a baby out. And so he kind of chuckles and you hear him say, well, we'll just have a baby for dessert because um, <laughs> that's kind of what it was. I think he was in disbelief the whole time of, of it happening as fast. He thought like surely she's wrong about this baby coming so fast. She's forgotten how challenging birth can be. Um, but now the reasons why I think it was the way it was. So as I mentioned, um, this green drink is just a, a way of staying healthy, a, a way of getting all my vitamins and nutrients and everything in that does prevent um, stuff like heartburn and all the yuckiness of pregnancy, but I think also conditions my body. But also a big part of it is the mindset. Um, I'm a huge fan of Ina Mae Gaskin, which I'm sure anyone who's watching this video who's thinking about a home birth knows about her. She's like the guru of midwives. And she said at one point, a fearless birth, so a birth that has no fear in it should be about five hours. Um, and so my first birth was eight and a half hours. My second one is when I learned about this five hour thing. And I was like, all right, I'm gonna try and go into it without any fear. And it was five and a half hours. Um, and then this last one, I was like, I'm gonna top this. And I actually was saying like, I want it to be a pain-free, pain-free. And I know that that usually does not go in the same sentence as birth, but I wanted it to be pain-free, supernatural, and super fast birth. And uh, so I just kept that going in my head and I removed all fear. And I did that by really educating myself, but knowing that it's what your body's supposed to do. A woman's body is supposed to birth a baby. And some people say, well, what if the baby's too big to get out? Now, Charlie was five, or 7, .5, 7 pounds, five ounces, decent size. Um, if you are leading a healthy life, I mean, yeah, you can have snacks here and there, but as long as you're not leading this whole, um, unhealthy life where you're consuming a lot of genetically modified foods and things like that, your body won't make a baby too big to get out. Um, and so, you know, you just have to trust your body, trust your baby. I have so many conversations with Charlie Bear when he was inside of me of, we're gonna work together. Like, you're gonna do what's best to get out, I'm gonna do what's best to get you out, but we're gonna work harmoniously together to make this happen. So. It took a lot of, of the mindset of getting the fear out, knowing that my body is doing what it's supposed to do. It's not like a sickness where, you know, you're sick or a broken bone because something's wrong. All of those contractions or those pressure waves, they're helping to squeeze to push the baby out. So you want to actually embrace them and welcome them. Um, one of the books I read, I forget how many contractions he said, but like, I think six. That you should have six, like, big intense contractions which will expel the baby. And so my husband's like, all right, then when that happens, let's start counting down of like, that was six, that was five, and just start counting down because you know you're getting closer to that goal. So I had the fearless birth. I had the birth that was, uh, by the way, if you hear jingle bells, my dog rings a bell to go potty. So I'm gonna wrap this up fairly quickly because she's ringing the bell. Um, but I, I had that fearless of, yes, that was a good contraction, bring on another one. Um, and I just kept thinking like open and down and out and. Finn, my older son, was helping me with that, you know, down and out, mommy, bring that baby down. Um, but I also believed that I was, I had the right to a supernatural birth. I had a right to a pain-free birth. 
Um, you know, I am a Christian and biblically in the Old Testament after the Adam and Eve story, women are cursed with a very challenging, painful birth. Um, their pains are multiplied in childbirth. But then Jesus came as a Christian. I believe that Jesus came to do away with the old law and to establish this new order and this new law. And as a father, would my father want me to experience pain? No. And so I use scripture to fight against that. And I can honestly say that I had the most perfect supernatural birth because of all of those factors involved. I kept reminding myself, um, the second that anything would start to come on to me that would feel like pain, I would cast it away. Um, almost like the whole like Satan behind me kind of a thing just to get it away because um, I didn't need that in my life and it wasn't gonna serve me any purpose. And what pain does is it brings fear and what fear does is it closes you up. If you actually look at an animal in the wild and Ina McGaskin talked about this and they're going to give birth, if a predator or something comes that causes fear, they will actually, if their baby's on the way out even, they will suck the baby back up and close up and go find a safe spot to birth their baby. Um, and so I didn't want any of that fear. So I had it in my home, which was filled with love, with my family around, with my husband and my two boys and a team of a midwife and doula that I trusted that would help me to get the baby out. Um, and I just allowed this connection with me and the baby and I, I visualized what was happening and how he was working his way down. And I just commanded that I would have a painless birth, uh, pain-free, and it was the most magical moment um, because then the baby comes out and he's nursing and then I have the fourth stage of labor where I birth the placenta. And then by I think 8.30 or nine o'clock, we we're all in bed, the kids are in their pajamas, their teeth are brushed, and we're all snuggling down and saying our prayers. And it was like, we had a moment like, what just happened? Like it was truly a supernatural birth. The fact that we had dinner, I went into labor, I pushed a baby out, I took a shower, and now we're all in bed cuddling and we all slept happily in our big family bed. So I just wanted to do this video for those that don't believe that they can have a supernatural pain-free birth for those who are fearful, who wonder if their bodies can handle it, if they're gonna be able to get the baby out, what's gonna to happen to their bodies afterward. Um, you know, I now have three beautiful, healthy boys that aren't afraid of birth, that hopefully when they have wives and their wives have babies, that they're supportive husbands who are like, yes, you can do this, like your body can do this because they've been present at those births. They've watched what happens. And they talk about it often. I was like, remember when I was in your belly? And this is what happened. And they talk about birth. I just made it a very normal, natural thing. Um, you know, I try to live my life as naturally as possible. And so birth was just an added element to that. Um, and then I also believe that by having and trusting your body to do that, to go through the process of growing a baby, to go through the process of birthing the baby, then you also have to trust your body to heal itself and to give it time and to give it nourishing foods that help it do it. So what I was saying earlier about my green mix really quickly, so it has stuff in here that I wasn't able to find elsewhere, so I made my own, um, like fermented goat milk protein. It's got a lot of collagen in it. That's from grass-fed, pasture-raised cows, so it's clean um, collagen. But then it has stuff like, so it's got like turmeric, cinnamon, um, psyllium husk, which is a great fiber that helps bring out any toxins in your body. Kelp, chlorella, which is super great green. Um, nutritional yeast, which has a lot of B vitamins in it. So in the beginning parts of pregnancy, when you feel sluggish and um, tired, it helps to give you that natural burst of energy. Um, spirulina, sea moss, which is also kind of a hard thing to find. Um, probiotics, but it has goat milk colostrum in it. And all those mamas out there know what colostrum is. It's the first milk that is produced that is golden rich and super healthy and like a, um, it's like liquid gold, um, even more so than just breast milk is. And, um, and goat's milk is most similar to our milk, so it's one of the easiest digested. So um, I would just throw that in a blender with like a banana and some frozen berries and some either non-dairy milk or just water um, and try to get that in every day. And that way, if 
I didn't feel like eating food and I wanted to snack on just random stuff, I knew that I was getting those nutrients in. But this is not a video to promote that. This is a video to promote trusting your body and knowing that you absolutely can have, as crazy as it sounds, a pain-free, super quick, super natural birth. Um, I've done it and it was incredible and I swear I felt like, like this tunnel opened up between this life and the other and like angels were coming down and surrounding me and that sounds insane um but even like when he was born he was birthed out to this song uh, bless the lord oh my soul um i had christian music playing and i'd only got through i think three songs total on my playlist uh, once it was like go time um before he was born and he, he comes out and you hear that bless the lord oh my soul um so that was just oh, so special. And, and it's because of those experiences, by the way, that I'm like, get me pregnant again. <laughs> like, I just enjoy uh, the whole process and the power that the woman's body has. And you know, for those who are Christian as well, just know that that is in you. Like we are made in God's image and God is powerful. And if you fully trust in that and trust in what Jesus came to do and abolish the old law, then it is all within our reach. Um, you too can have that awesome supernatural birth. So for anyone out there who's pregnant, um, leave me a message. I would love to hear from you, but many blessings to you. Trust your body. You have a beautiful, amazing mother earth body that was made to do these wonderful things. So trust it, love it, be present in the full moment of it. Um, and I just cheers you to the power that you're going to experience because there's nothing like it. So many blessings to you all. Thank you.